All right. Okay. So, uh, good morning, friends. Good morning, friends in YouTube and later on on Facebook. This is the Person with Disability Advocates TV uh, broadcasting in Asia. Um, our special day today, okay, this is a special day because we have with us uh, two, two writers so far. We have scheduled three, three writers, but uh, as of now, two have uh, arrived. And they will talk about how everybody, how anybody can earn some money, maybe not too big a money yet, <laughs> until you become very famous in this in this work. Okay? How to earn some money by writing. Okay? How to earn some money by writing. And um, this uh, broadcast actually uh, was inspired by a call by the Cultural Center of the Philippines. Okay. They have made a, a call for literary contributors and they are willing to, to give minimum of 1,000 pesos for anybody who can submit and accept it if their work is accepted. Okay. And since uh, I thought, I think it's very logical for me to think that uh, persons with disabilities can do this. They can do writing <laughs> because they are very creative. Okay? They can write poems, they can write essays, okay? they can write short stories. And I even added they can write songs, they can write balagtasans, debates, they can write uh, plays, short plays. Okay? These are no longer um, included in the CCP call, but I, but I thought if I could encourage uh, them, okay, um, I would have done my, my job. <laughs> so, without further ado, that we have two guests. Okay, the first guest is Joel John Clemente. Okay, I will. Um, this is Joel John Clemente. I will spotlight. Uh, let me. Uh, some. Oh, the third writer is here. The third writer, si Jerome, is here. Yeah. Dennis is coming. Oh, full house tayo ngayon, ah. <laughs> Ayan, we're full house. So I'll introduce the first writer. Spotlight ko siya, no? This is Joel. I put the spotlight on Joel. Ayan, this is Joel. <laughs> Joel will be... Uh, Joel is a, is a book author, but actually he's a nurse by profession, but he's also a book author. He wrote about... Uh, the story of a prudent nurse. Wow. And um, he will be talking to us and sharing his experiences as, as, uh, as an essayist, okay, as a book author, as an essayist. And, so, uh, you, and our second the guest speaker, I will put a spotlight on her. Ayan, si Cora. <laughs> Cora. Uh, Cora is uh, is a children's book writer and publisher. Okay, um, and uh, with this uh, uh, special meeting, I've uh, actually um, informed Cora that we have one painter in this group right now. She uh, she Debong, she Debong. She Debong is a illustrator, and uh, since uh, Cora uh, constantly needs illustrators, children's book story illustrations. Uh, I thought the two of you meet <laughs> at least uh, see see her uh, see his projects. Ayan, teka, spotlight ko nga si Debong. Ito si Debong. Hello, Debong. <laughs> Debong, Debong, yung camera mo, pwede bang pahigain? Can you make your... Uh, okay, sige. Nakamute ka ngayon. Anyway, later na lang. Pagkano. Okay, see, uh, and nasa na si, I thought, oh, Jerome, ayan, ito, the third, uh, uh, the third speaker, uh, th let me spotlight, see, you know, see Joel, I uh, see Jerome, hello, <laughs> Jerome, Jerome, uh, yes, he's a book author, okay, he's a book author, he's a poet, he's an essayist, uh, 
his concentration is in Filipino. Okay, he is also a Filipinologist, so he concentrates on uh, writing in Filipino. Okay, so uh, and by the way, this is a special event because um, Noel is actually coming from. Is will be speaking from Austin, uh, from McKinney, Texas. Okay, he's be speaking in, from McKinney, Texas. Cora will be speaking from Auckland, New Zealand. And uh, Jerome will be speaking uh, from uh, Antipolo. Okay, from Antipolo. Right. Okay, so I've spoken too much. <laughs> let's start the ball rolling. Okay. Uh, let's start with uh, Joel. Okay, Joel, John Clemente, you have uh, 10 minutes. Okay, the speakers will have 10 minutes to speak. And then after their 10 minutes, um, we will have... Uh, at the question and answer portion, okay? So uh, you don't have to fill up the 10 minutes. If you think uh, you have said enough, it's okay. So we can have more time for the question and answer, okay? All right, Joel, okay. it's your turn, Joel. So, okay, I started working as a, actually started when I was in, in first year college. Um, my, my goal was actually just to write something about myself, but oh, I found out I found out that you know, in in writing, you can do a lot of things. You can talk about yourself, you can talk about other people, and you can express yourself. What is your feeling? What is your views about society? I believe that as a writer for I, almost more than thirty years since nineteen eighty six, writing has brought me places, traveling at the same time, in one way or another, I make money out of it. But I always advise for a seasonal, for a new write, writers or a beginning neophyte writers, I, when, you, when you write something about anything, like whether an essay or a poem, your focus, your always focus is to give a good message uh, from the reader, from the reader, wherein the, the reader will be able to get something out of your of your article or manuscript, because this will be the central point. Where and right, uh, readers will be able to learn from your story. That I'm able to learn something from your from your book, and this learning actually becomes a part of their life, because in, in one way or the other, they learn they're able to get lessons from, from what you wrote. And if, if you think that you can make money of writing, it will, it will, it will come over. But just remember when you write something, just don't think about the, don't think about the money part. The most important is you, you develop your article you, and use at least a very simple uh, grammar. Don't use too much deep um, sentences because that, that, that this might confuse the readers and at the same time it, 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 it will it's like going around the bush and the reader will not be able to understand what you're trying to convey because there's so many going around the bush uh, let's say tips and bars in your article and you know being at me as being a, a writer for for more than 30 years, it has given me some 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 sort of a comfort and solace because as, as I always said in my previous interview, it becomes a part of my legacy. So someday, uh, you know, someday we'll be out of this world and this kind of legacy that we can share to the people that you know, in one way or the other, we touch them through our writing. And you know, by touching by and by touching the, their lives, it gives a lot of impression that you know. There is always something in every us, in everything in us. I always, I always remember what one of our uh, uh, parish priests told me that in every person, God has always intended something for us to do at one point of our life. We can be a writer, or we can be a tree. We can be a painter and and writer. And I believe that's one of the unique things that God has given us that we that makes us different from one person and another. And as I always said to my friends and friends, it, be, it, beca it becomes like you are 
we become a huge and a radical person, not only for yourself as well as for other people. So for our for our right for our right for our writers who wish to write something and we uh, wish to submit article for the CCP uh, literary con contribution, I always as I get that start with a simple article. Develop, craft, develop your craft, and most importantly, you, you, you pray. Pray, uh, be inspired by the Holy Spirit. Because you know, when you start writing an article, whether it's a poem, an essay, or poem, God is the Holy Spirit goes into your mind, and you, you notice that you know it's no longer you who is, who is actually the author of the article that you wrote. It's already God who is instructing you to, to do that, to do that thing, and. And you, are, as a person, is just a messenger, and I believe that that that, that becomes uh, the part and part of being like a start from a simple, I I think develop program, and always remember the the message. It can be just so simple where it, the readers can understand and learn something out of your manuscript. All right. Uh, thank you so much, Joel. Okay, so You're everybody welcome. will will have a chance to ask Joel later. We'll go to our next speaker and panelist. She is uh, um, Cora. Okay, Cora, uh, please start your uh, presentation. Okay. Hello, po. Uh, magandang umaga, magandang hapon dito sa Auckland. It's uh, 3 p.m. sa amin. Um, so our topic is uh, how to make money in um, with writing. Um, I was thinking maybe uh, for some people it's hard for them to reconcile uh, writing and making money. Parang, um, but uh, what's important for you out there to know, like um, we can also make money doing what we love. So that's an um, important thing na kailangan ma remember. And um, although you have to have patience because um, Nisha, uh, something like uh, overnight, the writing will make you a millionaire. Hindi ganon, kasi it's like um, this, uh, it's, a, it's a craft na like you gain skills over time. Hindi siya overnight. So, um, so just to, uh, a little something about myself, I studied uh, writing for children uh, with the New Zealand Institute of Business Studies last um, 2012. So that was eight years ago. I graduated actually 2013. And um, they asked me, uh, why write for children? Um, it's, uh, I guess, you know, um, genre that I'm passionate about and with writing for children um, with writing for children anything can happen so and um, with the children's books siguro ang ma uh, actually with any with any writing uh, kung ano whatever genre uh, my advice is uh, just write from the heart and also like for example for me if you're writing for children um research your market research the market and if you're writing sorry about that my dog um if you're writing for picture books for example um so you have a story in mind so that's fine and write from the heart and also para less yung mistakes along the way and less yung disappointments um research the market see what um, picture books are um popular um around the um what are popular for that particular year so go to the libraries go to um talk to the librarians talk to teachers um go to <coughs> bookstores and um, ask the uh, browse the browse cars so and then write uh kung ano man yung popular like for example um about witches so if that's popular then write about it but still still you know keep in mind that you your your sorry <laughs> story is um your story is a bit you know personal so um write kung paano mo interpret yung story about uh witch witches um 
And also, once after you have written, um, don't go uh, running straight to a publisher. Siyempre, kailangan um, you have to have the, your story edited. Para pag, if you want to go by traditional publishing, uh, looking for a publisher, you have to have your story edited, professionally edited. Uh, not to criticize your work, but uh, para malaman mo yung strength and weaknesses nung story mo and improve from there. Kasi our, uh, your story is very personal sa yo, So uh, you cannot see it objectively. So mas maganda if there's a, a professional um, editor or in my uh, here in New Zealand if they are called uh, manuscript assessors. So they will uh, tell you oh, do you have a good story here and to make it uh, more tighter in a more stronger, you have to do this, maybe change this a bit, uh, add some more to the plot and everything. And then, so present your manuscript to the traditional publisher uh, in a very, very fine form, the strongest um, that it can go. So that way it's, you know, the disappointments. Uh, you won't get, you know, kasi maraming, maraming competition. There are millions of manuscripts out there competing for a position with the publishers. So uh, as much as possible, um, present it in the best possible light. And also, don't give up. <laughs> you get like what they say, like you get uh, thousands, you get thousands of rejections and everything. And uh, it's not nothing personal. It's um, just like it just doesn't. That's your story. Just doesn't fit the needs ng traditional publisher. But remember, maraming publishers out there. So somehow your story will find a publisher. Just don't give up. Yun ang ano ng writer, di ba? Keep on writing. Kung talagang yun ang passion mo, um, never give up. Yeah. Uh, someday it will happen. Yeah, and as you keep on writing, your skills mo magiging like really, really, mapapansin mo, um, one story after another, you keep getting better and better. Yeah, that's my, my, uh, my opinion, sa writing. So, any questions later, I'll be happy to, yeah, answer whatever it is. Thank you. Thank you so much, Cora. Mm -hmm. And now we... We turn our attention to Jerome. Okay, Jerome de la Pena, it's your turn. Okay. And um, magandang tanghali po sa lahat ng nakikinig kay Sir Rome sa mga guest speakers. Uh, ang paksa po natin ngayon ay how to earn money by writing. Pero gaya nga po na nabanggit ng mga naunang uh, discussants, uh, bonus na lang eh, bonus na lang yung writing uh, uh, I sorry, yung pagkita sa pamamagitan ng pagpasulat. So, uh, I would like to start my uh, short talk sa pamamagitan ng pagbabasa ng isa sa mga uh, paborito kong tula sa librong ibig ni Romulo Bakiran. Si Sir Romulo Bakiran Jr. ay isang professor sa University of the Philippines, Diliman, sa malikahing pagsulat. So actually, siya isa mga kinikilala kong um, isa mga pinakamahusay na makata sa Pilipinas. No? So, ang ang topic natin ay uh, kung paano gamitin yung image, no yung imahen sa paglikha ng isang akda, particular sa tula. Pag sinabing imahen, ito yung mga nakikita. No? O kaya naman ay mga bagay na pasok sa sensibilidad kapag tayo ay sumusulat o tumutula. So, ngayon, ang babasahin kong tula ay pinamagatang gabi. Sinulat ni Romulo Bakiran Jr. Umahapon ang kawan ng maya sa mangga. Nagsisipagaspas. Nag-iingay tulad ng laksang poliglig. Tumigil sa pag-alon ang mga bulaklak talahid sa parang. Sinisigaan ng araw ang nakahimpil na ulap. Tilad ang buhalang mukhang nakapaskil sa langit at tinanonood ang mga yapak na laro ng mga bata sa plaza. Nagbibidahan ng mga binatilyo at kumukuyakoy ang matatanda. Tumatalim na anino ang paligid na sanga at dahon. Lumidilat na apoy ang bawat bintana. Tinig ng amay sumusundo sa anak na nangapit bahay. 
pagdiwang sa tuyo at kanin ang mag-anak, pagkaraay paghahatian ng mga likod ang iisang banig, sa labas tahimik na kumukotitap ang mga between. So yun, isa-isa ito sa mga example ng ng mga tulang ano eh, no? tumatalakay sa image o sa imagery. Uh, sa tingin ko kung ano man yung genre na sinusulat natin, ito man ay novela, may kwento, ito man ay dagli, sanay, say, tula, o iba pang mga literary genre. It would always uh, fall into the idea of paano ba tayo nakaka-relate sa ating mga readers. So, isang paraan yun, no? Nang uh, pagkilala na tayo ay um, kumukonekta o umuugnay sa ating mga um, mga taga, mga mambabasa o mga tagapakinig kung ito ay mas performative na sa uri ng panitik ano sine. So, kung babalikan natin, kapag tayo ay lagi magsusulat, hindi pwedeng abstract lang lagi. Halimbawa, yung pag-ibig, yung malungkutan, yung lungbay, yung pagkabalisa. All of these words or these things are abstract, no? So, hindi pwedeng puro abstraction. Kailangan merong concrete um, representations yung mga abstraction na ito para ma para mas mailapit yung ating mga thoughts and ideas sa ating mga mambabasa and I, and I think na mas uh, doon doon mas nagiging effective yung isang writer at uh, nabanggit kanina yung publishing eh no so minsan hindi talaga tayo pinapalad sa sa traditional publishing kasi uh, kailangan natin ng sandamakmak din na credentials o kaya naman ay awards o citations kapag bago tayo makapasok sa traditional publishing so Uh, ngayon, nag-start na yung maraming mga writers, uh, cultural workers, authors sa uh, independent publishing. Um, ito yung maglalatala ka mismo ng sarili mong aklat, sharing your works uh, online. And I think mas, nakaka mas makakatulong yan sa mga nakisimula din kasi uh, it would uh, create you a more um, spacious platform no? para mas makapagpahayag at para mas mabasa tayo ng ating mga Prospect readers, well, magkusulat naman tayo, I think, hindi lang dahil sa marami tayong taga, uh, mababasa kung hindi. Dahil may mga naniniwala sa atin sa mga gusto natin kumihin. Uh, basically, uh, doon nag-start yun. So, ano yung gusto kong i-argue dito? No? O, uh, bigay, ibigay na uh, technique sa mga magkusulat. So, lagi, uh, laging mahalaga, lalo na sa tula, yung imagery. Uh, dahil ito yung uh, isa sa mga... Uh, important elements ng poetry at kung ito man ay prose hindi lang imagery yung mahalaga kundi insights at then at the day, ano yung gusto mong sabihin na mensahe sa yung mga uh, tag, uh, mababasa o tagapakinig para mas uh, ma-invibe nila o mas uh, may sa praktika nila yung kanilang mga natutuhan o mga napulot sa yung sinulat kasi yun naman yung ano ba diba, yung poetry sabi nga ng isang Bohemian Austrian poet na si Rainer Maria Rilke, the only journey is the one within. So, kung magkusulat tayo ng mga bagay na tungkol sa paggalakbay, walang ihigit dun sa mga akda na paggalakbay hinggil sa sarili mo. Kung paano mo may kahit na mas kilalanin mo yung sarili mo, mas kilalanin na ibang tao kung sino ka, at mas uh, pumulot sila ng mga karanasan at aral sa lahat ng mga pinagdaanan sa buhay. So, yun po yung nice kong sabihin. All right. So, thank you so much, Jerome, for your insights. Okay. So, uh, okay, the floor is now open for Q&A, question and answer. Okay, so uh, just raise your hand so I can see you, and then uh, I will unmute you. Okay. So, who would like to uh, ask the first question? Okay, Debong. Debong, I will unmute you. Okay, go ahead, Debong. Uh, ito, ito po yung sa akin na hindi naman po question. Uh, yung pong uh, sa mga speaker po natin, yung pong uh, isa, yung uno po nagsalita, uh, nandinig ko po, bagamat po English, eh, hindi naman po ako masyadong ano sa English. Eh, ayun po, nandinig ko na ano ko po sa kanya, uh, pagka po gumagawa, eh, Unahin po muna ang Panginoon. Ako po ganun din po kasi ko. Pagka po gagawa ako ng isang obra, bago ko po ito simulan, mag sketch Ito po yung aking dinad, uh, nananalangin ako na sana tulungan. Tulungan ako na mapaganda ko yung aking gagawin. Tama po yung kanyang uh, uh, pagkakaano na 
God first muna bago mag-impose na ng lahat. Para po mo lumabas yung talagang gusto mo at doon naman talaga magagaling yung idea. Tapos po kay Ma'am Corazon naman po, Ma'am Corazon, ah, uh, uh, Cora, Cora po pala, sorry. Ay, kay Ma'am Cora na, <laughs> Uh, ako po, eh, ano po ako eh, nag, mag, magtatanong lang po ako. Uh, sana po, kung sa illustrator po, sana po, uh, request ko po sana sa inyo, eh, uh, itry nyo po yung aking gawa. Baka po, uh, kasi bilang po PWD, siyempre po, kailangan ko po ng, may pamilya na po kasi ko eh. Uh, kailangan ko po ng kumita. Hindi naman po, sabi nyo nga po, hindi naman ko gumawa ka ng isang ano, magiging mayama ka. Yun lang po bang makatawid sa araw-araw eh. Ako, nagpapasalamat na po doon. Sana po, itry nyo po. Kung magugustuhan nyo po, eh, salamat po. Yun yeah. lang po. Uh, pahingi ng ano, email address. <laughs> Mamaya. Uh, apa. Sige po. Apa. Thank uh, you. Apa. Salamat po. Salamat. Uh, 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 baka gusto mo magtanong, Debong, kay... Uh, kay Jerome kasi si Jerome is uh, a poet baka may question ka for Jerome uh, kay Jerome uh, ako kasi nung gumagawa ako ng uh, tula ano eh hindi ko siya na ano eh, hindi ko siya nabigyan talaga ng ng katulad ng paintings ko na talagang sunod-sunod na pag natapos, ano siya eh, parang ang naging dating sa akin, parang sumagi sa isip ko yung gumawa ako ng tula, pero nung gumawa naman ako, sunod-sunod naman, kumbaga na-condition. Tapos nat- natigil, pero ngayon dito sa pulilan, dito sa amin, uh, dapat gagawa nga ako. Kaso lang, hindi na ako umabod lang kasi may ginagawa akong paintings na yun na natigil nga nung isang araw dahil naubusan ako ng thinner, dapat gagawa ako kaya lang hindi na aabot ng time. Meron silang patimpalak na gagawa ng tula para bang uh, sa quarantine para makalibang ng mga tao. Tapos meron silang papremyo. Ayun, hindi ko siya nabigyan ng time. Ka, para bang Uh, kasi sa YouTube nakakapanood ka ng may nagpe-painting yung ba ma- para ma-boost ka ewan ko lang kung meron sa YouTube na gumagawa ng ipapakita na paano gumawa ng tula para bang uh, ma-enhance yung, yung para bang ma-boost ka para mag, uh, mag, mag uh, para bang magpainit na katawan mo para gumawa ka ulit. Ay, yun ang ano ko eh. Na, na, parang sumagi sa buhay ko yung nakagawa ako ng tula. Siyempre, alam mo naman sa sarili mo na nakagawa ka ng tula. Kung babalikan mo, kakayanin mo ulit. Ngayon, ang puro porsigido ko, puro paintings ako. Pero nito nga, sabi ni Sir Brom na meron nga sa ano, sa CCP na nag-aano na ako, itatry ko ulit. Ano ba ang maitutul? Ano ba ang maibibigyan mo sa akin para ba maano sa akin yung mabush yung sarili ko para makagawa ulit ako ng ng tula? Sir Jerome. Okay. Uh, thank you din, sir. Uh, anong pangalan ko din? Debong. Debong, Debong. Ah, sir, Debong, ayun po. So, alam ko kayo isang visual artist, no? So, sobrang inaangahan ko po lahat ng mga uh, uh, visual artist. Kasi kapag visual artist ka, madali nilang tumula, eh. Kasi na-imagine mo sa, sa utak mo yung mm. image, no? Kung mm. ano yung yung gusto mong isulat doon sa mismong obra, mm. no? Um, Ma- I think, hindi... Sir, Sir Jerome, maputol... Ma- ah, sige po, sige po. Maputol kita sa dahil. Kasi sa paghalimbawa, alimbawa sa sali ng competition, ang isang obra mo, ang isang piece mo na ipapas, kailangan yun meron kang uh, nakasalaysay na ano ba istorya nito, ano ba ibig sabihin nito, yung uh, ipapasa mong paintings. Kaya pagka yun na uh, ipinas mo, kalakip yun 
kalakip yung uh, salaysay na yon na paliwanag mo dun sa paintings mo. Ah, opo, opo. Yung mga ganun nga, sir, na uh, instances, ang tawag naman po natin yun sa academe ay ekprasis. So, ekprasis means creating art from another art. So, kung tutulaan po natin, for example, yung isang painting na gawa natin, uh, mas madali natin uh, magagawa yun. Kasi kung usapin lang ito ng, ng pagsasalaysay o pagkakwento o narration sa isang particular na sining o art form, ay naging imposible yung pagkawid ng mga uh, mensahe. So, um, I think, meron na po kayong sining. Eh. Lahat naman tayo, bata pa lang tayo, sinani tayo. Mm. Uh, sumayaw, uh, magsalita, kumanta, sumulat, at uh, iba pang mga uh, gawain sa araw-araw. No? So, kung tutula po tayo, ang pinakamahalagang bagay na dapat at isipin ay um, ano yung pinaka-precise na mensahe na gusto mong i-share. Kasi at the end of the day, hindi lang ito flexing ng, ng husay natin sa paggamit ng elements o sa pagsusulat talaga. Eh. It is something that, uh, writing is something that um, is about uh, telling your message and uh, making it an inspiration for others to strive to struggle no, kung ano yung mga pinagdadaanan nila. At Sir Debong, alam ko, hindi imposible sa'yo. Ang kailangan mo lang, I think, uh, um, i-minimize doon sa sinasabi mo ang abahaba tas hindi matatapos. Ano ba talaga yung goal mo doon sa mismong tula? Kapag nahit mo yung ganong idea, magiging possible yung yung success ng sinisan, tulad ka na sulat, tas ang ang dami-daming ideas. At the end of the day, balik tayo sa page. Ano yung goal mo? Kapag na-hit mo na yung goal mo, ah, ang goal ko dito, share ko yung struggle ko, tapos mag-iwan ng remark. Mag-iwan ng okay. something na magpulit yung mga readers. And that's it. Kasi at the end of the day, hindi tayo magkasabi na successful tayo. Yung mga readers. Okay. okay. Hmm, tama. Salamat, Sir Jerome. Salamat, Jerome. Salamat, Debong, sa napakalagang question. Any, anybody else who, who would, who would uh, ask the next question? Anybody? Raise your hand so I can see you. Okay, who would like to... Oh, parang nag-raise ng hand si Jay. Eh. Jay, nag-raise ka ba ng hand? <laughs> okay. Now, Jay, you can ask questions, by the way. Jay, you can ask questions. Okay. Jay, you can ask questions. Uh, I haven't. Wala pa po akong nasa isip. Natanong. Okay, okay. Sige. O oh, kasi... Uh, siguro natin na lang po. The first uh, mga questions po sa ating lahat. Okay. Uh, ano po yung pinakasimula na masasabi yung... O ano po ang nagbigay sa inyo ng inspirasyon para gawin po ninyo yung inyong uh, sinasabing skills po ngayon? O saan po kayo humantong sa ngayon? Ano yung naging daan po ninyo para gawin po yan? Okay, so the writers, let's start with Joel. Joel, ka muna mag-sunong sunggol. Ah, sige po. Uh, sa akin kasi po, uh, ang nag-drive talaga po sa akin na para mag magsulat, magsulat was actually it's a family experience. Actually, it was, it was experience from the family you know, being grown up doon sa, you know, malikas kasi we, 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 we also experience poverty. So yung, yung poverty na naranasan namin nung kami mga bata pa, yun talaga ang nag-drive sa akin na para itulat itula, o maging obra maestra ng, ng aking uh, manuscript. Kaya sinasabi ko nila, it's, it's significant human experience. And then kal- kalakib noon, when el pag nagtutulat kasi ako i always ganun sin sinabi ko kanina po doon sa ano ko i always offer everything to the lord yung tuwing lalo na yung first article ko i really offered everything to lord sinabi ko nga sa sarili ko lord kung makapagbuo ako na kahit man lang isang kwento it i ito ay isa ng malaking ano tagumpay pa sa and it really works kasi naging sunod-sunod ang mga ang mga article na, na hindi ko na lang nalamalaan na uy, nakapagsulad na pala ako ng 
almost 100 ano articles sa ko. Pa sabi ko, kami na tinatanong ko sa sarili ko. Paano kaya ako? Ano? Paano ako nakarating sa ganung ano, journey yung pala? It it goes back talaga kung ano yung pinagsimula mo kung ano yung naging inspiration mo para makagawa ka ng ganung uh, uh, mga, mga artikulo o karanasan na pwede mo maibahagi sa sa buong uh, sangkatawan. Okay, thank you Joel. Uh, Cora, yeah, you like to Hi. Um sa akin, so what made me right? Midlife crisis. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well actually that's um true. Um ang retrospectively kasi um since nung yeah, maliit pa ako, um really I really love writing. I wrote all sorts of things, poetry, songs, um any story, made up stories. But kasi katulad nung sinabi ni Kuya kanina, uh, we we also uh, went through poverty sa Pilipinas. Yeah. And yung that sort of um, pastime, uh, it was frowned upon. Hindi nila in-encourage actually because hindi siya practical. How? Like, what can you gain out of it? So it's like it was stamped out of me in writing. And so, I, iba yung, naging iba yung path ko. And then um, I came here, and then um, nakarating na tayo sa midlife, and and I I um I saw na wow yung life there it's very fleeting. Yung like all of a sudden yung mga friends mo na nawala na matay or you know what I mean like um anything can happen sa buhay mo na it's so short na na really you have to you have to do something you have to make something kung ano yung yeah katulad yung uh, god given and i realized that uh, any uh, talent na binigay ni god like you owe it to yourself and you owe it to god to um pursue it um um be creative kasi si god is uh, the creator so it just goes to show, I mean like the, that's what he wants i realized na ay nang gusto niya di ba you have let your uh, talent um take you to greater heights for his uh, glory so uh na realize ko yun, okay um hindi naman straight away na you give up your job kasi meron kang pamilya na kailangan mong uh, pakainin you have to put a uh, roof over their heads food on the table So um so I took yeah so way back in 2012 I took um so para uh, I took the writing course para you know um para um, to give formality to seal ko ano yung gusto kong gawin and from there yeah it's a journey of uh, many many steps thousand steps mountains na ki climb natin and I you know I yung na realize ko is uh, sa writing kasi parang um, you are your own worst critic. Parang sipi mo ah, what I'm writing it's it's crap. <laughs> it's rubbish. Laging rubbish, rubbish, rubbish. But but actually yung mentor ko, she's really good. Kasi actually yan sabi niya, lahat ng sinusulat mo it matters. Like um it, it's it's got a voice. Na don't uh, rubbish it. It matters to to you and to someone else. Um, it will resonate with someone else. So, um, just don't give up. Keep on writing kung ito talaga yung gusto mong gawin. And you owe it to yourself and to God to pursue it. You know, aking uh, opinion. So, it doesn't matter kung it will not see the light of day, it will not get published, it's okay. At least yung feeling mo that you have crafted something, you have written a story, you have written an article, a poem, um, that's enough. And somehow, in the in some way or another, it will um it may may not be in your lifetime. Maybe the next generation, your family, down the line, will publish it. It doesn't matter as long as you have been true to yourself and you have done this. You have written something. It's okay. So that's my yeah. Uh, Thank you, Cora. My, uh, Thank you. And Jerome, your insight on the question. 
Okay, uh, I would like to share something. Uh, sobrang nagpapasalamat ako dun sa mga fellow writers sa speakers na nandito kasi uh, sobrang dami ko rin natutunan sa kanila kahit uh, um, sa, sa, sa maiking panahon na ito. Ako, Sir Rom, ano eh, parang bata pa lang ako. Sobrang gusto ko lang mag-share ng, ng mga bagay na natutunan ko sa araw-araw. And I think dun nag-start yun eh. Kumbaga parang uh, nagsisimula lahat ng mga agustuhan natin na uh, magbahagi. Kapag gusto natin yung pakiramdam na uh, natutuwa yung mga tao o kaya naman ay may napupulot din sila kahit paano. So nung college ako, I decided to took up uh, Bachelor of Science in Secondary Education major in Filipino kasi nakita ko yung pangangailangan na ilapit sa mga kapwa Pilipino yung panitikang Pilipino. Nakilala nila yung mga taong kagaya nila Jose Carson de Jesus, Rogelio Sikat, Rogelio Ordonez, Abdon Balde, Luna Sikat Leto, uh, Binil da Santos, Aida Santos, Romulo Bakiran. Maraming 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 pa tayo. Mga hindi na ikilalang mga manual at alam ko kapag nagbabasa tayo, but foreign and local writers and artists talagang nagbubukas ito ng bagong daigdig mo, ng isang bagong universo o universe atin para mas matuto. Pero ang lagi ko sinasabi talagang ano yung igit sa pagiging mahusay, mas maging mabuting tao. Maga parang walang silbi yung writer na talagang galing sa gamit ng language, uh, fluent sa gamit ng grammar, sobrang fluid yung pagsulat. Kung hindi naman ito nagmamanifest doon sa kanya pa ikipagtapwa, no? So, isa yun sa mga naging inspiration ko na nahigit sa pagiging mag- mabuting manunulat, pagiging mabuting guro, pagiging mabuting tao kasi doon tayo mahugot ng ating mga paranasan, doon tayo mahugot ng ating mga anais ibahagi sa ibang tao. So, isa yun sa mga inspiration ko and also I serve uh, as a community leader sa isang uh, youth organization. Uh, doon ko nakita na ano eh, yung kabataan pa rin, tama pa rin si Rizal, no? yung kabataan pa rin, yung kabataan ng na natili pag-asa ng bayan at uh, naniniwala rin ako na na nagpapatuloy yung ganitong klase ng legacy. Ako may tanong kay Jerome. Yes, go ahead, Cora. Jerome, um, kasi I, you know, um, I fell in love with Haiku. Oh, okay. Yeah, kasi um, very short siya na uh, form ng poem. Pero really um kasi mahilig ako sa ano eh sa 'di ba haiku mostly focuses on nature yes po opo Japanese poetry yeah. oh Japanese um so isa 'yun sa mga passion ko is nature so yung very yung haiku very short only three lines tapos um how can i like <laughs> improve my haiku <laughs> and also i want to like um sort of reconcile yung writing for children and that haiku poem. Hmm. Maybe to inspire children to love nature more. Yeah. Ganon. Yeah. So, many, any tips? <laughs> and also, yung Japanese poem, di ba? Is, uh, yung haiku. Are there, um, so parang, nag, no nagre-research ako, parang medyo may difference na ngayon dun sa, sinasabi nilang western haiku, which is, hindi siya very restricted dun sa dun sa syllables na how is it 575 hindi okay. katulad nung Japanese haiku na talagang very strict sila dun sa stick ka dun sa syllable count syllables count so um, any tips if meron okay so actually two points po yun eh no, ma'am uh, yung una okay. po yung sa Japanese haiku very evident po kasi sa Japanese culture yung pagmamahal nila sa environment Actually, ngayon po ay nag-start ako na mag-research uh, sa Japanese anime kung familiar po kayo. So, sa mga akda po nila, uh, sa manga man, sa mga light novel, very evident yung pagmamahal nila sa sa environment. So, I think uh, yung mga Japanese din kasi ay very particular sa kanilang work. So, yung kailangan mabilisan yung mga bagay. So, kahit uh-huh. magdusulat sila, um, kailangan sa short, short span of time ay makasulat sila ng akda. Pero, yun nga po yung challenge talagang hmm. hindi porkit maikli, madaling gawin. So, yeah. Yeah. So, so, yun yung discipline nung ganong klase hmm. ng, ng art form. Ako, ang teknik ko po siguro, hindi rin po ako ganong kausay sa paglika ng haiku, pero, ang lagi kong ginagawa po doon, 
moment, ano yung sandali na gusto mong i-share? Kung baga parang, um, alimbawa po, merong tipakalong na tumalon sa sa dahon, gusto mo siyang i-share. Ang pinaka-point, ang pinaka-point po nun, mula sa pagtalon ng, ng, ng tipaklong sa dahon, tapos na po dapat yung tula. Parang ganun lang po siya. So, yeah. Kumbaga, parang hindi natin kailangan patalonin sa maraming mga panahon para sabihing maganda yung tula. Yun yung, yun yung binahagi sa atin ng, ano, ng haiku. Kumbaga, uh, always bear in mind na ang technique ay moment. Ano yung moment na gusto mo? I-share at bakit? Yun po yung dapat sagutin. Tapos pangalawang bagay po, yun sa children's story, actually, once, nakapag-work po ako sa isang, parang nagtutribute ako sa isang textbook uh, project, tapos children's story din po yung sinare ko doon. Dalawang bagay po ang mahalaga sa akin kapag sinabing children's story. Una po, ano yung moral o lesson nung, laging may ganun eh. Hmm. Ano yung moral o lesson nung story mo? Kasi syempre, hindi dapat yung talagang parang didactic na uh, sinusubo na natin yung yung moral o lesson doon sa mga bata. Kumbaga parang kailangan yung mga bata din yung makadiscover noon uh, sa pamamagitan ng mismong characterization, yung mismong plot. And last, una po yun, pangalawang bagay sa akin, sa usapin ng children's lit o children's story, yung sinare na isang uh, children's story writer ng pangalan ni Sian Abad Hugo. Kung familiar po ay sa kanya, no? siya ay graduate ng parang Hong, Hong Kong Baptist University. Parang gano'n. So, ang lagi niya sinasabi sa children's story ay yung characterization, insight, at dapat bata ka talaga para nagkusulat ka. Kasi hindi pwedeng matandang wika o wika ng intelektual yung gagamitin natin kapag tayo ay nagkusulat para sa mga bata. So, kailangan kung paano, kung paano talaga magsalita yung mga bata. Parang, mm-hmm. parang ganun siya dapat nag uh, nag-work. Kasi yeah. kung hindi nakaka uh, tawid yung mensahe sa mga bata, why, why write at the very first place? So yun, language grip yung um, yung technique. Hmm. Yeah. Ano ko nakatulong ako? Ano? Thank you. Um, para sa mga uh, just wanting to share yung a little bit story sa haiku, no? Kasi ay um, uh, lagi kong dinadala yung mga kids ko nun sa um, library. And then uh, may napika pa kong uh, haiku book. <laughs> Baliktad. Yeah. A Taste of Nashi, the New Zealand haiku. And like kadi na yung sinasabi ni Jerome. It's um, like so short, three lines, but it really yeah, captures the moment. And it's so, um, to me, it's very... Um, touching like um it uh, really resonates um kung ano yung moment na nangyayari like um if i can um read one um hang on. uh, sorry um, like um uh, meron nga rin dito eh like uh, yung sa butterfly uh, sorry Uh, it like this one um, says a uh, night sky that part with no stars the mountain that's it like um you can mapi picture mo nakagad sa mind mo kung ano yung kung ano yon di ba it's um short but touching and um effective so yeah haiku maybe it's another avenue for um sa mga aspiring writers to um to write about yung short siya but really um, hindi ganun kadali. <laughs> Actually that. ma'am, uh, share, share ko lang, meron po yung parang haiku uh, style din sa Philippines, sa pre-colonial uh, Philippine literature. Ang pangalan naman po niya ay Tanaga. Kung medyo familiar po kayo. No? Uh, Tanaga. Ang, uh, po, ang mm-hmm. sukat naman po nito ay four lines, tapos ang syllables ay seven 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 Ooh, so, okay. Times 4, 777. Opo. Yung po, short din siya, pero ang dami-dami nang sinasabi. Ito po, example lang tanaga. <clears throat> tanghali ang tapat, tanghali, uh, ay, sorry, tanghali ang mag-isa, kaning lamig tinapa, nahulog ang kutsara, ikaw na sana, Sinta. So, ano yung huli? Ano yung last line? Uh, ulitin ko na lang po. 
Ang haliang mag-isa, aning lamig tinapa, nahulog ang kutsara, ikaw na sana sinta. Ah, yeah, di ba? Yeah, very yung haiku very evocative. Yeah, yung feelings na yung feelings na when you read it, yung feelings na lumalabas sa iyo, it's um, different. Like, uh, oh yeah, mm -hmm. like you go, oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like what you said. <laughs> okay. Okay. Si Kem yata, I, I saw Kem raising his hand. Kem, Kem, you have a question? Uh, maganda umaga sa inyo lahat. Uh, pakilala ko pala ang sarili ko. Ako yung Kem. Uh, nakita ko nga po sa inyo yung mga, ang bawat sa inyo mga karanasan po ninyo. Sa karanasan ko, marami po akong mga libro na nakita po Ligagin sa mga hearing ko, sa mga nakapagsalita. Kasi, siyempre, hindi ko namin naridinig. Visually, nakikita po namin mga salita. Uh, at nakikita ko po, uh, kinukuha ang nakita ko nga po, ito ay nanggalit sa mula sa puso po. At masarap po ito. Dahil, lalo na ang gusto ko po ay ang pagsasayaw po. Sa so, nakikita ko po sa mga libro o sa ano pa man, uh, sa mga, para sa aming mga bingi, nakikita namin kasi visual po kami. So naniniwala po kami, ang expression po, ang poem, uh, o even sa, sa aming mga kabingihan po ay masaya po kami pag uh, in a simple way lang po. Like uh, yung mga patient o, o yung mga sounds na hindi namin po narinig o yung nakikita po namin, sinasapuso namin, sinas namin po ito at, at nakikita po po yun sa pamagitan ng pagbibisual. At syempre, hapahayag ko lang yung mga, mga naisin, mga salita, sa pamagitan ng pagsasalita o sa pamagitan ng at sa pamagitan ng, uh, ng, muse, ng, uh, ng mga musika At mahal, uh, gusto ko rin po ang mga musika. Comfortable po para sa akin ang musika. Uh, kahit na anong musika po yan, para sa aming mga bingi, uh, mahilig po kami makipag-uusap sa bawat mga tao. At mahilig po kami makipag-kaibigan po. Kahit na sino po. Pero, hindi pa lang ako masyado sa... Para sabi ng Panginoon, kung ano man ang mangyayari, kahit na anong mangyayari o kahit na anong isipin, dapat uh, panitirihin natin kami mga bingi, hindi po kami weak. Mostly ka lang kasi sa visual lang po kami. Kung ano naman po na kita po namin o sa mga, uh, sa mga libro po, sa mga pinagsusulat po, Nagtututo po kami. Pero sa aming mga bingi, hindi po kami masyado nakakapagsalita. Nakakapagsulat po ng maigi po. Kaya uh, sa pamagitan ng pagsisenyas, doon namin po, sa pagsisenyas, doon po namin na, na ibibigay o uh, na ipapashare kung anong naik po namin po. Kaya pag iniisip namin po na hindi po kami po kami Parang sinasabi ng mga tao na hindi sila naniniwala pero kami mga 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 bingi po ay keen, keen po kami sa mga detalye ng bawat na nasa paligid po namin. Kasi hindi lang po kami verbatim po. So yung nararamdaman namin po uh, o kung ano pa man po yan through visual learning lang po kami kasi. Kung ano man yung mga, mga skills na nangibigay po sa amin, salamat po sa God, yun po yung skills sa guru po namin. Yun yung positive take po para sa aming mga bingi. Pero pagdating po sa mga 
skills ng pagsulat, doon lang po kami hindi mag uh, magkuan sa uh, hindi po kami skills sa pagsulat pero may paparating na rin po sa para maging dalang pagtingin ko. Ayan. Okay, thank you Kim for your question. Uh, for your comment, for your comment and for helping us understand the situation of the deaf uh, with regards to encouraging you how to write. Okay, I we will, I have some more ideas we can discuss after this. Can I ask okay. one? one yes, Jay. Go ahead, Jay. For for our guest speaker, natulad ng sinasabi ni Ken, may mga ibang mga, mga ibang mga tao, hindi kaya magsula. Iko ang siguro na uh, ineffective sila pagdating doon. Pero have you experienced na magsulat ng isang sabi natin na karanasan ng isang tao para sa kanila po parang kayo po ang nagsulat pero yung yung thoughts o yung mga pahayag at karanasan nila ay nanggaling po sa ibang tao ano po ba ang makukampo natin doon ah, will it be a benefit o kasi parang sabi natin na meron pa siyang copyright dahil galing yun sa ibang tao diba po? kasi may mga ibang tao katulad ng desk po hindi po nila kaya magsulat because the words are uh, they, the first mother tongue that they have is sign language. It's a visual language. It's not the written language. Mm -hmm. So hindi sila proficient dun sa written language po. So the question will be there will be like for you, our guest speakers, can you write for them? So yeah. that uh, that yeah. uh, share their message to the world. Yeah. If I may answer that, Kuya, um, there is um, uh, yeah, there is a uh, such thing as um, I haven't used it myself. Niko pa siya nagamit, but there is such thing as a uh, ghost writing. So the yung I don't know exactly. Baka yung iba alam niya. I don't know exactly how it works. Pero um, these uh, professionals, uh, freelancers, they will write for you. There is a um, for a fee. Yeah. yeah. So um, it's not impossible. Kung ano man yung your life story, somebody will you you hire someone, the ghostwriter, and they will write it for you. So parang both of you will enter into a contract um, for an agreed fee. She will write this. He or she will write the story for you, your life story, or a fictional story. And then um, maybe review it, and if it's good enough, then you publish it. Um, yun lang, yun po uh, on the surface ang alam ko about um, ghost writing. Siguro kung ano, um, you can research. Um, those interested can research about it more. Pero be, maybe just be very careful. And if you want a ghost writer, maybe get someone who's really professional and who's got maraming maraming uh, good reviews. Yeah. Okay. Gaya, gaya ng sinabi ni 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 Sister Cora, me, me, there's really such thing as ghost fighting. So what happened is the yung the person yung yung magsasenyas o mag mag ano ida demonstrate yung actions will be demonstrated to the yung yung writer na magsusulat kung anong gusto ng ipa ipadama o ipa mensahe ng yung po yung person with let's say with uh, with uh, PWD so they starting ang ano lang po diyan kailangan careful lang talaga on the part of the freelancer making sure na at least 100% kung yung sinusulat ng ng freelancer natutugma doon sa sa gustong pala o din gustong i-convey ng ng ang pa ng 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 yung let's say the original writer para nang sa ganun when the reviews comes pareho ang ano ang they in the same they say the same platform na oh this is this is what i this is what I, ito yung kinilos ko at ito rin ang sinulat ko ang kinilos ko oh, gusto kong pati sa doon sa sa writing. Kaya, ganyan sinabi ng sinabi ko, there's a fee, but 
Ang ano nga po, kailangan talaga, yung talagang medyo professional, yung may, exp- yung may experience po na writer, na sa ganun, maging 100% ang accuracy niya, ang, effective, ang accuracy, effectiveness, at efficiency ay 100% na kung saan both parties are understand each other po. Okay, thank you, Joel. Okay, Jerome? Do you, okay, can, would you like to comment? Uh, uh, sige po. Actually, yung sinabi ni Ma'am saka ni Ma'am Cora saka ni Sir Joel ay tama na po. No? Kung maga parang I would like to just cite this uh, light novel ang, uh, na naging uh, series sa Japan. Ang title niya ay Violet Evergarden. So, uh, parang ang naisip ko lang kasi doon sa sa work na yon yung yung mga na, na, nagwakas yung isang digma ano conflict kasi yung mga tao nahirapan silang mag express kasi meron silang mga post traumatic uh, uh, symptom disorder sa PTSD no so, nahirapan silang mag uh, uh, lumiham o magsulat sa kanilang mga mahal sa buhay so merong isang postal company uh, na nag na nag-cater nung ganong klasing need ang tawag sa service ay auto memory dal service so may mga writers na magsusulat para sa inyo doon sa inyong mga mahal sa buhay kung ano yung gusto ninyong sabihin uh, ano yung mga gusto ninyong iparating sa kanila gano yung sila kamahal etc all of these messages will be validated no doon sa uh, process after may sulat nung nung liham o after may sulat ng isang particular na akda i-discuss nung dalawa uh, para magkaroon ng uh, consensus kung yun ba talaga yung gustong mensaheng sabihin. So following that uh, uh, example, sabihin pwedeng-pwede talaga no, na merong magsulat para sa mga uh, mga kapatid natin sa deaf community at sa iba pang mga klase ng uh, disability. No? Uh, kasi wala, para sa akin, kahit for example ako magsusulat para sa kanila tapos i-research ko lang yun lagit laging parang hindi natural yung mensahe kasi hindi ko rin mismo naranasan uh, particular sa uh, sarili ko no so kailangan ako bilang writer maging vessel lang ako nung uh, mga para maging um, daan lang ako para maisulat yung mga mensahe pero still sila yung nag-isip sila yung nagproseso sa kanilang mga uh, isip at uh, puso no so nagiging daan lang yung mga manual at para mas mabuksan yung yung community dun sa katotohanan na sila ay may mga karanasan na mas higit dapat nating uh, inaabang ang marinig o may experience. Yun lang po, sir. Uh, one you, more uh, thing, um, Papo, kung talagang um, kung talaga pong serious uh, kayo about yung sa ghostwriting, um, maganda rin siguro kung uh, mag- manghingi kayo ng sample ng work nila and uh, read kung yung yung style ng writing nila kung it will uh, resonate with with you kung ano gusto niyo mangyari just um siguro lang nga yeah, yun nga um be very careful um yung tignan yung background writing backgrounds and important yung mga reviews ng um, freelancer so yeah and it's um yeah, yun nga for a p and you shouldn't like uh, cause an arm and a leg dapat <laughs> Okay. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, ako, I, um, I'd like to contribute my ideas about this thing. Kasi ako, I, I come from a visual medium then, which is video. Okay. Now, I prefer the... the I, some, I'm on all literate, literary forms. I prefer the play. I prefer the balagtasan. I prefer the, the drama, the film. Okay. All this that needs performing arts. Okay. Ngayon, sa literature, yung drama, nakasulat yung play, di ba? But it's a lot different when it's performed. Okay. The performance is better than the written form sometimes. Di ba? And uh, yung song, okay, the song, the song is more powerful than the lyrics itself if we read it in print. So what I see now is Si Kem, for example, Kem, record your your sign like re- record your poem your poem in sign language. Record me in video, okay? Record me in video, and that is the poem. That is the poem. 
And then si J, J can come in, ita translate niya. Okay? Okay, ita translate niya. Okay, then J, ito, ito yung translation. And then siguro the next step would be copy editing. Okay, that would be parang stylistics na yung style na ngayon at pag-usapan. But the original, but the original is the, is, is, Kem. Okay? Tintranslate na natin, inadapt lang natin. Uh, but the author is Kem. Which yeah. means I'm just saying, wala nang ghostwriter. Wala nang ghostwriter. Walang, walang ghostwriter. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Uh, uh, teka muna, si, hintay natin si Kem. May, may, ano si Kem. Go ahead, Kem. Go ahead, Kem. Uh, palagay ko, ang mga tao tinitingnan nila na ang mga, ang mga deaf ay hindi na pagsulat. Hindi po. Uh, kasi ang interpreter po ay nag a lang po. Kasi regarding sa background. Kasi just to be aware na yung sign language sa aming community po ay uh, with special language po for us deaf to express ourselves. Pero in the written po, with matching of the interpreter, mas naiintindihan po namin kasi. Um, so, minsan, pagka gusto namin i-review o gusto namin i-clarify, there are things that we, we call feedback. So that we could approve as to the words that is being used, it, it, it exactly to the exactly. words that I, uh, I do have, uh, uh, I do, uh, uh, that was comprehend po para sa akin. Marami po kasi sa signs po, uh, a word, uh, naiintindihan po ng mga interpreter po. Kung ano po yung dapat po. If, for example, the interpreter knows much of awareness kung nang simple sa kultura ng mga bingi, madali lang po para sa amin yan. May mga things na pwede po namin pag, uh, kung po, wala pong problema po doon. Wala po yung regarding sa grammar o wala pong pressures po para sa amin po doon. Uh, it's more of easy. Basically, mas madali lang po. So, it's awareness lang po regarding sa test po. Okay, thank you. Um, I do believe na meron naman pong marami din po skills po. Pero sa amin po kasi more on, para sa akin, uh, writing uh, is just something that is somehow needed to be supported din po para sa amin po. Uh, kasi kahit pa paano may voice pa naman po kahit pa paano this is also one of our voices through the sign language sino? kung ang mga ang kung ang tao po ay aware po deaf culture po deaf po so hindi na po kailangan po kung sabihin tanungin kung ano po yung nangyari o uh, miscommunicated ba um, o regarding sensitivity issue po uh, kailangan po kasi nila lang malaman yung background po and kailangan magkaroon po sila ng awareness regarding po yun po uh, just one thing add po. I just yeah. want to add lang po regarding po sa Rome. Regarding po sa deaf poetry, meron pong signs po kasi sa visual action that cannot be uh, put into words. Okay? What I mean is like for example, may nakita po akong deaf poetry, ang gira po ilagay sa words. Because it's visual language. And it, wala po siyang katugma. Okay? Because it's their own language. It's a special language. Sometimes, um, like from A to Z. A to Z. Talaga nila sign yun. It's a poem for them. Okay? So it's an alphabet okay, from A to Z. Then they'll make, an, uh, they'll make a poem out of it. So that's the poetry for them. It's an action visual language. It's hard to put it into writing for us. Kasi it's a visual language na po talaga. Kaya kahit ako, uh, marunong po ko, interpreter po ko for how many years? 22, almost 25 years of interpreting. But when the deaf have their own poetry, hindi po siya katumbas ng language po natin. Oh. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you you have to first learn the the basic sign language, then later on you will see na meron silang deaf poetry na hindi siya katumbas at hindi siya magiging katumbas sa mga words na written words po natin. Wow. 
kahit ako, I, I, I try. I, I'm also a teacher for the deaf. But when in their culture, they go out in their own culture, real way, and pag yaka nakipag-usap sa kanila, minsan hindi mo masasabi yung poet yung nila, hindi mo pa ilagay sa, sa, sa katumbas na nagwahe natin. Dahil it's their own language na hanga ka na lang eh, na hindi mo alam kung paano mo itutumbas dun sa lengwahe natin. Wala po siyang atumbas. Na karamihan na pagka may nakikita akong nagpo-poetry ng mga bingi, it's very culturally rich na hindi walang katugma siya in our own language, in our written language po. Yun po, yun po masasabi ko. Ayan. So uh, actually we have gone over time by uh, 12 minutes but if the body is willing to proceed uh, kasi we have uh, one, two, some more uh, who might want to ask would okay lang ba sa body if we proceed? Joel? Are you okay available? Lang okay lang. Cora, are you available? Yep. Apa. Okay. Uh, Jerome, are you still available? Okay, okay. So, yes, you proceed time. Kasi I, uh, um, uh, Janeline, si Janeline, Janeline, may question ka ba, Janeline? Janeline, do you have a question? Medyo nag-refresh yung kay Janeline. Uh, Dati nagsimula akong gumawa ng, ng kwento. Uh, sarili ko sa mga iba't ibang story, ah. At meron din ako mga compilations regarding sa pangyayaring nagaganap sa ko. Natandaan ko din yung ah, may mga sulat akong ginaba regarding sa uh, pro konti sa poetry story control siya. Uh, tungkol sa poetry. So yung mga karanasan na nangyayari. Okay. okay. Then, thank you for the comment, Janeline. Okay. Okay. Si uh, Gloria. Gloria, do you have a question? Yeah. Uh, actually, hindi to question. Yung mga na nakuha kong points and ideas. Uh, tungkol kay una unahin natin si ano yung songwriter natin si Joel Clemente. Opo. Sir, yung ano niyo yung yung isang point na magandang maging maging akman maging maging uh, behavior and attitude na yung pointers para sa isang writer is yung uh, first of all before ano uh, yung yung paglatag mo ng wall pen and papel is uh, the first thing to be done is you pray and be inspired by the Holy Spirit. Napakahalaga po yun and everything will follow will follow kasi yung bang ano na na buhay natin to yung, yung buhay natin to yung yung ikukuwento natin on how yung bang nagsimula yung, ito yung journey journey ng buhay natin na paano nagsimula bilang isang ako po ay isang uh, PWD orthopolio since five years old at yung struggles po ando yung discrimination bullying ng mga negative na mga naririnig until such time na lumalaki na ako na na naging challenge sa akin yung, yung mga nangyari sa akin yun. So, ito yung story na yung story na na something na na ang mga bilang isang writer ay ang magbe-benefit ay yung mga readers. Yung sinabi yung sharing ni ni ni, ni Jerome de la Peña na yung mga yung mga readers natin ay hindi lamang sa generation natin kundi 
sa mga ating generations pa. It will it will generated from generations to generation. So mahalaga po na being a true to oneself na yung yung bang focus on the message. Yun yung central point ng ng writing to tell your story na yung the good points, the good message. But before the good message, ano ba yung struggle? Ano ba yung struggle ko sa buhay? So importante din po yung make it simple. Yung simple which is the essential is in there. So yun po yung ano yung mahalaga na na, na nandun yung yung simple na na halimbawa sa isang tula, simple lang siya, pero andun yung andun yung yung bang yung bang kilig na, na makikita na makikita ng tao na matutuwa siya na ma, yung bang to to get in touch with the, with the situation do sa sa tao do sa mga nagbabasa. Then yung kay Ma'am Cora po, yung sa have patience. Napakahirap po magsulat. Napa, yung patience na it, it cannot it cannot be done in overnight. It takes time po. Kasi naranasan ko po na, sa mga devotions namin para ka ding nagsusulat. When at end you uh, when it comes to devotion nagsusulat ka, you, you're making a letter to God. Napakahirap po yun. So, para, para din ito sa article writing na na ang mga, mga ang message natin is uh, for everybody na mga, magkakaroon ng interest sa buhay natin. So, sino ba yung mga focus natin? At importante po na yung pagsusulat ay it comes from the heart. Kasi pag nag, nagmula sa puso yung pagsusulat, lalabas yung totoo. Lalabas yung sino ako, sino-sino ang sino yung ano yung katauhan ng nagsusulat at dapat alam natin yung market yun yung yun yung isang isang good point doon eh na sino yung market natin sa amin bilang isang PWD ang market po namin is yung mga PWD mga persons with disabilities na na very simple ang buhay ang daming struggle sa buhay na na dumating sa point na nagkakaroon ng depression nagkakaroon ng 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 nawawalan na ng pag-asa but through this, sa writing na, na magkakapagbigay tayo ng inspiration sa bawat isa. At never give up. Naranasan ko po yan yung, yung bang nakagawa ka na ng, ng the whole story tapos ibabasura mo lang siya. Minsan, disappointment sa akin yung pero, pero hindi tayo dapat mawala ng pag-asa. Hindi tayo dapat, uh, hindi yun ang maging avenue para ayoko na titigilan ko na to. So, natuwa rin ako kay, ano, kay, kay, doon sa, ano, ni Jerome. Napaka, na, overwhelming siya kasi naka, nakaka favorite ko kasi po yung yung mga tula mga poems so yung mga yung mga ra, yung rhyme ng kanyang mga mga uh, yung example niya doon sa comment niya doon kay Lorelai nakaka-inspire ko talaga at nakakapagbigay talaga ng inspirasyon na imbang struggles natin ngayon at yung achievements natin in the future na paano natin napagtagumpay yung, yung pagsubok ay ito yung lipad ito yung lipad na na fly high like an eagle. So yun po yun na simple man ang buhay na isang isang taong may kapansanan ay uh, may mararating. May mararating sa buhay na hindi makakalimutan ng tao pag naisulat natin ito. At ito po yung insight ko dito na uh, once the life of a person was written, it will remain in the minds of the reader. The readers are, are not only for this generation, but for the generation to come. And the good thing for this uh, literary contribution po ay uh, we will not only receive the amount na of course kailangan natin ng, ng pera for to sustain our daily living. But the, the point here is eh, yung po pag na-accept po yung ating, yung ating uh, writing ay yung article po natin ay magkakaroon po ang bawat isa ng complementary copy. And it counts a lot for me. Kasi ito po yung lifetime achievement. For me, it's a lifetime achievement. Kaya po, uh, I encourage everyone na mag-share po tayo. I-share natin buhay natin na maging inspiration sa iba. Na ito yung struggles ko, pero nakapagtagumpayan ko because of the guidance of the Holy Spirit. Because God, God has, guide, has guided me so much. So yun po. Maraming salamat po. Thank you very much po kay Sir Joel Clemente. Yes. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you very much, Paul. Thank you for your comment, Gloria. I'd like I'd like to ask si Farah, Farah Fay, a question, ka ba? Farah, you have a question. Yes. 
pangalan ko pala po ay si Para. Ito pa rin siya yung sa pangalan. Uh, siya nga sa amin, hindi po, sorry, hindi, uh, yun nga po, hindi po ako nakakarinig. Pero ang aking anak na nandito ay uh, tatlo po ang aking anak. Uh, uh, ito siguro ang aking uh, simpleng buhay na may papakita po na uh, ito ang aking uh, ligaya para sa akin. Kahit na ako ay singe at isang anak ko po ay uh, sila po ay nakakarinig po. May gusto kang may gusto ka itanong sa mga guest speaker natin? Ah, wala po, wala naman po. Nahihiya na po ako eh. <laughs> wala nang hiyahiya. <laughs> Sige, sino pa ba? Teka. Uh, okay, I think na... Ah, teka, meron tayo... Uh, teka, si... Uh, uh, the phone number 120. Sino to? Si... Uh, hello? Phone number 1206370. Would you like to ask a question? Meron kasi tayong uh, participant. Phone number lang. Hello? Uh, yeah, I, I, I don't have a yeah I don't have a question. I was uh, uh, marami namang nasabi na eh, so I I pass my time for those questions. Uh, would you like to identify yourself? Si Mario to. Uh, ah, si Mario, uh, si Mario. Okay, okay, Mario. So I, no uh, you know, I can share a lot of things, but I'd rather give my way to those questions. Because uh, we're about to wrap up. I think na exhaust naman natin. Would. Ah, uh, okay. Okay. Um, question. And right? Gloria invites. No, no, no. I don't But uh, if you can indulge me a couple of minutes um, to share about my writing experience. And yeah, it's about the topic. About the topic. Oh, about writing. Oh. Uh, and it's about writing. Yes, yes. About ito nga ting. Kasi meron tayong tatlong guest speaker. Baka gusto yeah, mo yeah. mag-react. I've, I've, I've heard all, yeah. I've, yeah, I've heard all like, three of them. Would you like to react? Uh, would you like to comment? Oh, uh, uh, kung pwede magdagdag. Uh, mag magaganda na yung sinabi nila. Uh, the other thing that I can add is that uh, pag nagsusulat po tayo, Anong isipin? Sino ba yung gusto kong magbasa ng susulat ko? Uh, instead, yung pagsusulat is one form of expression. So, it's a way of you know, sharing what you have inside. So, going out. Pero minsan nakakalimutan natin yung, yung punto to vista ng papasa. So, the basic rule is that uh, make sure that what you're writing can be read by somebody who's finished grade five. You know, grade five understanding. Dapat ganun yung level. Uh, can reach out to more audiences. So, once you have that in mind, you put in as many, as much details as possible for what you're trying to write. Yeah. So, uh, may kwenikwento kayo. Somebody said about imagery. So that's very important. Kasi if you notice, know uh, the, the difference between write, writing form and say film showing or in a movie form, you can express more in writing just the picture because the picture is having enough things a thousand words. One picture can tell us things, pero pag hindi napansin ng audience yung nasa picture, then they miss out the details. But in writing, you can go as many, as much detail as you want. So don't be afraid. And then lastly, um, if if you're just starting to write, yung mga nagsisimula pala magsulat, and I, I'm pretty sure those who went into writing felt the same way, yung mga natatakot magsulat. Walang perfect na first draft. Walang perfect na first draft. That's why it's called the first draft. Kasi nga, practice yun. So what you want to do is just write and write and write and write and write and write and write. I, I heard Gloria say, Ilan yung mas scratch paper, ayan, iba yung, ilan, ilan beses na siya nagtapon, nagsulat. That's, that's how the process goes. Basta sulat lang, sulat, sulat lang, sulat, kahit na hindi maganda, kahit hindi ma... Don't worry about the mistakes. 
kasi wala namang perfect writer. Wala namang, wala namang ganun. That's why there has to be an editor. Either you edit yourself or you have somebody read it and and ask for his, uh, the person's honest comment. So those, those are just the three things that uh, I want to share with you. Kasi pag nag-chef ako, baka umabot yung oras. And I'm, 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 I'm patapos na tayo. So number one, again, think of your audience. Ito yung babasa ko. Now, the, the writing should be at least grade five. Okay? So, number two, don't hesitate to put as much details as you can. If you're writing as a, a literary piece special. Okay? Kung ano lang, kung nagkukwento ko ng balita lang, ano yung well, ganun din naman sa balita, you have to share a lot of things. Mm. And then, number three, don't be afraid to make mistakes. Okay, uh, your first draft can be your second draft, the third draft. Until such time, okay na, okay na, okay na. You, you, you will feel it. Eh. If the article is written, you know, you've expressed enough. So if you can just remember those three things, okay na yung writing. So okay. thank you, Ram, for giving me this chance. Thank, thank you, Mario, for your very thank important. Thank you. Uh, yes, kasi yung first draft is really the first thing. You just have to write. <laughs> Now I, I see see Ness. Hello Ness. I, I in the, hello Ness. Can you hear me, Ness? Ness Aquino. Uh, I'm not sure uh, if you. Hello Ness. Can you hear me? Wala kang sa camp kasi baka you have a question. Okay, may two minutes na lang tayo. <laughs> okay, we we'll, we uh, wala question yata si Ness. Uh, final words few tigwo one minute, Joel. Uh, Cora and uh, and uh, Jerome, final words before we uh, end. Uh, for me, po, uh, continue writing, whether it's whether it's whether uh, whether it whether the writing is it's beautiful and patulil uh, patulil lang po magsulat at yale po sa panginoon ang ang inyong uh, mga agda po kasi sa sa kalaon po ay ma perfect nyo rin po yung inyong pagsulat match to your expectation and always always offer po ito sa sa Panginoon at sa mga kapwa natin yun po thank you Joel Cora final uh, uh, tips or words before we wrap up Naka, un teka nakamute ka nakamute ka ah. okay nakamute ka pa rin ah teka but nakamute ka pa rin uh, let me uh, unmute you. Unmute. Ayan. Ayan. Okay. okay na. Go ahead. Okay. Na. okay. So um yeah, yeah uh, my final piece of advice. Uh, if you're thinking of um writing, um do it now. Don't do it tomorrow. Ngayon na, kasi um <laughs> di natin alam ko anong meron bukas, di ba? So kasi we keep putting it off, putting it off, procrastinating. So um once you decide, decide and do it now and always remember yeah your story matters um don't um don't listen to that inner critic na it's um just rubbish it's nothing it's a waste of time it's not so yeah so um love yourself and if you really want to write do it now okay thank yeah. you cora jerome your turn final uh advice before we wrap up okay uh sa akin po sobrang thank you po sa opportunity na ito to uh talk about uh, my writing so yun laging ang pinapayo ko kahit sa mga uh, estudyante ko sa panitigan o sa manikahin pagsulat ay huwag tayo matakot na makipag-usap sa iba't ibang klase ng tao to experience uh, different things to go on uh uh, different places, matuto ng iba't ibang skill. Alam niyo po ba kahit yung pagluluto, nakakatulong yun sa pagtutula o sa pagtusulat. Kasi um, nalalaman natin yung mga step-by-step -step na uh, proseso, procedure, and at the end of the day, uh, kung hindi makapagsulat, magbasa, I think mas doon tayo mas makakapulot ng inspiration sa mga gusto nating isulat, sa mga techniques. Yung mga tekniko, mga bagay na technical ay natututunan niyan over time pero yung mga mensahe it is something that is always within us no at uh, yun yun sa tingin ko doon mag-focus um 
magkaroon ng healthy body, exercise siguro, uh, healthy mind at uh, and uh, susunod lahat ng mga bagay na kailangan natin. And sa tingin ko, huwag tayong matakot na sumugal kasi lahat ng fighters ay sumusugal. Kung baga parang hindi natin alam kung hanggang saan pwede makarating yung ating mga sinulat. So, at the end of the day, it is just us na mag-hinder sa atin na, na hindi uh, magsulat. So, kailangan uh, maniwala lagi sa sarili, sa ibang tao, sa Diyos, uh, at sa uh, yung mga pinamahal sa buhay. Parang gano'n po. Tuloy lang sa pagsulat. Okay, thank you very much. Joel, Jerome, Cora, thank you for thank your you insights. Po. Thank you. Salamat thank you. Po. Salamat. Yes, and for all our participants and for uh, all those who are listening to us now and in the future while we, you can replay this video anytime. Okay, so we're saying goodbye now. Thank you so much for thank the time. You. Thank you so thank much you for your insights. Goodbye, everybody. See Bye. you soon. Bye, everyone. Bye. 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 Bye